Hi guys, very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome to the video number 454. My name is Ajay Parmar and today you are going to watch 6 amazing Excel tricks which every MIS person is supposed to know, right? Now there are actually a lot of tricks but you know uh, in this video I'm just covering 6 tricks, right? Very amazing, very powerful and uh, they are going to help you a lot in the you know putting the data in the proper uh, properly manner uh, going to uh, you're going to if you know these features you can uh, uh, this is going to save your you know the time as well right so uh, this is my channel youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Parmar if you're watching the channel for the first time uh, we have 454 videos on Excel Excel VBA MS Access and Access VBA right so you will find the tons of the codes here the basic videos intermediate level videos advanced level videos everything you will find on this channel right and the best part is that most of my videos are an attempt to you know uh, to to answer your query so you'll find a lot of lot of case studies a lot of practical actually videos right so this is the playlist just in case if you're wondering how to start if you're new to the youtube or if you're new to the, my channel uh, go to the front page of the video and this is where you get to you know uh, click here 45 playlists we have created and all these uh, playlists you can see any playlist which starts with access vba that is the access vba any playlist which starts with the access that is access any playlist which has excel word that is the pure form of the excel uh, it could be basic it could be anything you know so uh, for example when you click on this offset function you get to see here eight videos so go and watch those videos according to the title and uh, we have the basic videos we have the advanced videos everything is there right so in this video now uh, we're going to talk about the, uh, the those tricks and uh, before I go further I want to share this pause the video and note down all these playlists now these are the playlists which are supposed to watch in this particular sequence i have written here if you want to learn excel vba if you learn, want to learn excel if you want to learn access content if you want to learn access vba right so go and watch guys these uh, in this uh, sequence and i'm sure you will get the lot of lot of benefit okay so now today what we're going to talk is we're going to talk about these actually uh, six tricks transpose formula fill series convert text into a number Trace the breakup of a formula. If your formula is breaking somewhere, then there is a technique for that. It's a very useful technique. Add, subtract the same number in the list of the table. Go to the next line of a cell. So these are the tricks which I'm going to discuss one by one with you all of you. Right? So let's start. What is the transpose formula? So transpose basically, uh, so many of you might be knowing the transpose trick. So for example, if I just write here something, let's say I write these numbers here, okay? Now, you know that if I have to change the direction, this is a vertical table, and if I just go and if I want to change this to, you know, horizontal, then what I will do, I will copy this and I press Alt E S. Alt E S is the shortcut key and I can simply say transpose, right? That's the shortcut key. And so let me write here that Alt E N S, pay special. You can also do one thing. You can also, you know, use the ribbon command. So when you copy the data, you can press Alt and you see that you go to the H and when you click on the H, you go to V. V is the pay special and then you can press S, right? So that way also you can use using the ribbon because when you press Alt key, what happens your this window gets highlighted now the page special is in the home tab so you press H and then once you press H you go to the V you see that this paste I press V when you press V this is the page special S so that is also something you can do but I prefer Alt T S right okay so now this is something which I'm not here to talk about because this is not a formula if I do any changes here you know that this is not going to change here right you will again have to do the transpose so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually build the formula like this you select the entire table and go to the equals to sign and then write the transpose formula here so when you write the transpose formula here you select this entire table and close the bracket and press Control shift enter the moment you press Control shift enter this transpose formula is going to put the insert the curly brackets in the end and the beginning of this right and you see that this is a complete transpose function if you go and try to delete anything you will see you can't change the part of an array so it's not going to delete so if I just go and write here something let's say I'm going to write here name you see that guys this is the difference between using the transpose as a value and using the transpose as a formula so you will have the changes in this so I hope you know this trick right so transpose also not just available in the paste value you can also use it as a formula right so that's the uh, Trick number one, which everybody is supposed to know, very important. And then let's talk about the fill series. What is a fill series? So in the fill series now, let's say you have a date here. 
right now you know that if I just drag this what happened you get to see the date different different dates like today when I'm recording it's 6th of August so we have 7th of August 8th of August 9th of August 10th of August right but if I don't want that if I if I if I want that you know I should go and fill out this range keeping my this date let's say I, I just I just want to put this and end to the 31st of August but with a gap of three days then how will you do that right so what you can do is there's another option in our you know this Excel you select this range let's say I want to select this range and go to the fill series go in the home tab and in the home tab you're going to find here this fill which is the fill and click on the series now when you click on the series this is what you get to see because we are going down so just keep these columns as it is date is the by default option if you want to keep the date in this case I want to keep the date so that's how it is going to be now you can see that it is also selected day you can select the month you can select the weekday you can select the year as well right so I'm going to keep the day because I want the difference between the date between the days right so what is the step value step value means that what is the difference you want to keep so I want to keep a difference of three and where actually it is you know supposed to stop so let's say I want to stop it at maybe 16th of August let's say not 31st but 16th of August so you write the date here 16 so 16 August I'm gonna write it 2017 now you press just enter and look at this it is not going to fill out the entire table and it makes sense because you said that the stop value has to be 16th of August so if you start incrementing 3 from this 6th of August you know you get to see 9 12 and 15 so automatically your series will be stopped here right now if you let say also this is I'm going to do the same stuff here now let's say this is my date let me paste value it now what I'm going to do I'm again going to select this entire table and let's go to the fill series and let's this time let's do one thing let's let me keep this month on and now I'm going to say that step value is going to be 3 and the stop value let's say I am going to say that it's going to be let's say uh, so if, if it is going to add three months over here then I write here 12th December 2017 let me press ok now look at this guys look at this what happened it did not do any increment in the date you still have the 6th August right and you still have a 6th of you know November now why we are not able to see December obviously because you said that the, it has to be a gap of three with the with the gap of the three if I add three months August September October November this is the date you know which you're going to get remember that there's no increment in the date here it was an increment in the date why because you said that you want the increment by the month and same goes for the weekday for the year right that's how it is so the so stop value whatever the stop value you're gonna put it so let's say if I this time I put the stop value here let's say um, I put here 12th of uh, let's say December 2018 now let's see it's going it's, it's going to increment you know every date every date by three months so let's press ok and look at this guys so this is what you get to see here right so we have you know uh, 6th of August and then we have November and then we have 6th of February so after no November you know December January February so we have February and then we have three three months of an increment right so this is a very very cool trick you should know that that's called the fill series okay all right let's go to the next topic convert text into a number now convert text into a number what is it so basically sometime what happens when you write any number suppose I write this 88 you see that it always moves to the right side which means that it is a number but you know sometime when you import the data from the text file or maybe you import the data from the SQL server or maybe from MS access or from maybe any other file which is you know generated on the server what happens these numbers get converted into text so sort of this this is how it is going to look like for example this is how and you get to see that pop-up also convert text into a number you know which you have to click every time so you don't have to do that what you will do is you will simply say equal to double hyphen and select the cell and press enter you see that it goes back to the right side this is now a number you can do the testing I can quickly go and find whether this is a number or not when you when I press enter this is true but if I just go and press F2 and I just go and change this to this text you know you get to see here false because this is not a false uh, this is not a number actually right so nobody can tell actually that this is a number or text if you write the formula is number that's going to tell you that this is actually not a number though this look like a number so you can simply say equals to hyphen and you select that cell and double hyphen is going to actually convert that into a number right this is applicable only for those numbers which are stored as a text 
it's not going to convert the text the proper text into a number remember i cannot convert ajay into a number because that that is a pure text this is only for those cases where you have a number stored as a text and you want to convert it back to a number you can also do one more trick you can simply select this cell and multiply it with one because one is a number with which if any number gets multiplied the value is not going to change and once you you know multiply this you see that 88 moves to the right hand that means it is a number now okay so either you multiply it with one or you use hyphen hyphen it's one and the same thing right this is very important you should know that now let's go to the next topic okay trace the breakup of a formula now how to do that so what do i mean by that first of all i want to explain you now guys if you look at this if let's say i have said that these are let's say my formula i'm just going to use this formula called b2 right and i'm just going to drag the formula let's say i drag the formula this is how my formula is now you can see that i have here b2 b3 b4 b5 look at in the formula bar right but let's say somehow what happened i'm going to put the break here i'm going to link this with the b70 cell right so i'm breaking the link over here now let's say if you have written something here let's say i'm going to write here 10 and then i just write you know a couple of more values here so let me track this like this right now if you wonder that why you're getting here zero in this list how to trace that because this is a long series right i mean i have here just 10 15 rows and you can immediately go and check that but imagine if you have a you know formula which is dragged till 500 row it's going to be different you know difficult for you uh, that you know to check because you can't go on every cell and you can see that where is that sequence is breaking so what you need to do is you just select the entire cell and press ctrl g so this is my ctrl g which is the shortcut key to go to the you know go to or you can take the help of the home tab you can go to the home tab and you can click here you know you can say that go to special when you press go to special this is what you get to see now what you need to do is you need to click on the row difference when once you click on the row difference you get to see oops i'm sorry it's not actually uh, row difference i always get confused with this it's actually the call you know column difference so press ctrl g ctrl g is going to take you to this window which looks a little different but this is when you click on the special you will be back on the same window so now what you need to do you write here column difference what is the column basically difference so i'm just going to click okay now the moment you click okay you see that that is going to highlight it guys this is what actually we needed it right so this is a very very important very cool trick and not only this if let's say i break the formula here let's say i write here something else f9 okay now if you just select the entire thing again and you go to the control g and you press special and you go to the column difference and you click ok you see that both the cells are highlighted so this tells you about the breakage right where your formula is not in the proper form it's not basic if you are dragging the formula it should be in a sequence right so this is the best way to check and same goes if you have a formula built in this way you can go and check that out using the you know when you go to the control g you're going to find out the uh, another you know option which i was using earlier row difference so that's going to tell you if the if the formula is dragged horizontally where is the break point where the formula is breaking right so i hope you remember this but this is one of the best option and you should know that let's go to the next thing now add subtract same number now add subtract same number which means that let's say in your case if you if you have let's say this this is your table let's say okay this is a table and you have a different different values here let's say now what you want to do is you want to add a number called maybe let's say two over here okay so what you can do is you can i know that you can directly also write here this plus and this and you can drag the formula right keeping two freeze but you can also do this way copy this and go in this table select the entire table and then go to the paste special which is paste and special now we just go and press alt e s i'm gonna press alt e s again i'm back on the paste special this is my favorite window right you learn today transpose function now what what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add it you can also subtract it right if you want 10 minus 2 or 10 minus 2 33 minus 2 56 minus 2 and so on guys so subtract divide multiply whatever you want to do i just keep you know this add option right now and i click ok and there we go can you see that the table is changed in just seconds right so this is the option guys you can also use that you must know this option all right so what is the last thing go to the next line of a cell so this is now very interesting now sometime what happens like in this cell i'm going to write something my name my name is ajay and i 
um, learning excel now what if you want to go to the next line just after this line press alt enter i'm going to press alt enter and it takes me to the next line and you can write here that i am learning from youtube and then again alt enter this is a good going right so you just press enter and that's how you get to see here now you can put this above and this is how you can actually you know go to the next line guys so alt enter is the shortcut key to go to the next line in the same cell right so that's it for now i hope you enjoyed this fully you know very small video but it was a power packed video because this is specially i uploaded i'm uploading for those who are working in excel a lot extensively who guys you know work on excel so thank you so much for watching and as usual please subscribe to the channel support me support the work and we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk something more exciting next time thank you so much stay fit and have a fantastic learning bye bye guys